So today I'm going to be talking about the built-in screen recording, screen capturing software that comes with Windows 10. This application is pretty easy to use. I'm going to show you how to set it up and start recording, tweak some of the settings. Um, there's a couple of big advantages to the application and there is actually one big disadvantage. So I'm going to explain those things and, and also talk about maybe some alternative softwares if you're looking for something a little bit more powerful. And so here's my computer setup. We're going to have an application open here. This is Google Chrome on this monitor to the right, and we are going to want to screen record what we're doing in the browser. So to start, very simple, just go ahead, press the Windows key, press the G key. And so there we go. Up pops up this bar down at the bottom, so we can click on it to record. Um, there's a couple settings. You can have the microphone on or off. It will capture your microphone. And then you can also just take a simple screenshot, but we're gonna start recording. So we can click this button or instead we can go and do Windows key Alt R and then it'll pop up and we will start recording and we're gonna switch over to that. Here we are in our Google Chrome application. You can see me scrolling around. You can see me switching tabs, opening a new tab, closing a tab. And so the screen recording software does pretty well. Um, it records up to 1080 and 30 frames per second as well as 60 frames per second. It's also recording the audio that you're listening to now, which you can choose to turn off or on depending on what you want. Um, and so some big app advantages to this application are uh, one, it does not mar watermark your videos, which a lot of the free software does. In addition, it also doesn't give you any time uh, limits. So you don't have to just do 30 second clips. You can do as long as you'd like to record. Um, however, there is been one big disadvantage, but first we're going to show you how to find your videos once you stop recording. So uh, let's press Windows Alt R and stop our recording here. I'm just going to quickly show you how to find your videos. First, you're going to want to enter your C drive on your Windows machine. You're going to want to navigate to Users. You're going to click the user that you were using while you recorded the video. You're going to find the videos folder and then the captures folder. And so there's our video that we just recorded. And this leads us to the one big disadvantage of this application, which is you're probably wondering why I'm now filming the screen as opposed to screen capturing the file explorer and explaining it that way. Um, and so the biggest disadvantage of this application, first of all, you can only screen record one application. So if we were, like we took that video of the Google Chrome, if we were to switch applications, the software doesn't pick that up. It still just records whatever's in the window of the browser application. So it's not capturing what's on a specific monitor or a certain spacing. It's simply capturing one application at a time. Um, in addition, the software is technically built for gaming. Um, so, you know, I understand why it would just be one application, but you can't screen record the file explorer, for example. So there's certain applications that it doesn't even recognize as something that you can screen record. Um, so that and then the ability to switch windows and things like that is not included. So those can be huge, especially for someone like me that I want to do software tutorials where you'd be switching back and forth between let's say a terminal and some type of IDE. So it's a pretty limiting factor, but there are some alternative solutions out there. And if you are just looking to record a game you're playing or something like that, it's pretty nice to just have a built-in free application. So here we are back again using the built-in Windows screen recorder. Um, and so this kind of leads me to alternative solutions here. Um, OBS Studio is apparently one of the best free softwares here for 2019. Um, it is open broadcaster software. So we're gonna click in here and download it for Windows. But um, supposedly there's no watermarkings, no uh, limitations on your video time, things like that. And then you can also do, um, so you can pick your view and then there's a number of different transitions and things like that. So supposedly this software is actually fairly powerful. It does apparently take a long time to uh, get set up, but we're gonna download it here for Windows and hopefully it works out. And so this video is gonna end here. I'm gonna finish uh, installing OBS Studio and setting it up. And maybe I'll do a video down the road talking about how to use the software and some of the better advantages in comparison to the Windows built-in application. Um, but the Windows built-in application is still a good product. It's something I could use. It just doesn't fit my needs as well. I wanna be able to switch between multiple different programs at the same time. But if you do happen to be you know, just recording a game or something like that, it, it's pretty powerful and there's very few disadvantages to it. Um, so I would recommend it. I'd recommend trying it at least before you go ahead and install OBS Studio. But um, yeah, that's gonna be all for now and hopefully this screen recording software will work out for me.